Stop mucking around. All right, I want you to divide yourself into two teams on opposite sides of the net. Chop, chop. Ten boys. None of them wanted to be there. Just a bunch of lacklustre doofuses. Or doofi. They had potential, though. I could see it, and they just needed to use it. They cannot see! <laughs> They had the potential to transform from useless sportsmen into volleyball Jedi, though none of them had the motivation. Well, would you look at that. Go on then, let's see a rally. Everyone, come over here. I want to talk to you. Actually, Jaden, did you want to go and get that? Boys, take a knee. I sense a growing level of concern here. What I need you to remember is that if the mind can conceive it and the heart can believe it, then we can achieve it. I want you to grow from boys into men, and from uncos into athletes. Hey, wouldn't it be cool if we like actually got good and like made it to the grand final? Yeah, I guess that'd be pretty cool. I reckon that'd be sick. Well, like that'll happen though. Have you seen our team? They're literally a bunch of drop kicks. I mean, the ball gets more respect than we do. Oh well, we'll see. From then on, we started practice. Every Monday and Tuesday, and every other day, depending on who could make it. The team began to take the game more seriously, began to grow fonder of each other, and became more competitive. Wait 
games, you guys play real sport. But they still lack the respect that some other teams got. Our first game was fast approaching. The boys were getting better, but they still weren't great. Although we didn't know what the other team's skill level was either. OK, boys. Well, this is our first real game, so uh, I've got the rules. Downloaded them and we can go over them on the bus. Um, but just remember what we've practiced. Just get it back. Keep it in. Um, we don't know what they're going to be like, so just do your best. Um, I think we're playing Baron Joey. So, any questions? Um, where's Ethan? Ethan! Oh. <laughs> right, we ready? Let's go. He still hasn't mentioned us in December yet. He hates us. He struggles with the concept that we've improved since we first started. We haven't lost one single game and we're completely undefeated and we have our grand final next week. If his footy team did that, we'd never hear the end of it. Hey, where's Mr. Gleason? Oh, haven't you heard? He's having a baby. But aren't we like his babies too? Yeah, but I think this one's a bit more special to him. Hey, wouldn't it be cool if, like, one day they made a movie out of this? About what? The whole volleyball thing. Like, how we're really bad and then we trained and then we got good and now we're undefeated? <laughs> nah, that'd be crap. It's so cheesy and cliche. Well, it's a true story, though. Yeah, just pe still, people wouldn't want to watch it. But what if, what if it had, like, production value and epic montages and slow-mo and a big budget? It's not about production value or good filming, though. It's about the characters and the storyline. Yeah, I guess. Ah, oh, well, we'll see. Are you serious? Yeah, he's not here. What the hell are we gonna do? This sucks so much. I can't believe he's not here for this game, out of all games. Who have we got then? Some substitute. He's hanging around somewhere. I think he's talking to the other team's coach. I feel all bummed out now. It's weird. Don't worry. It'll be fine. Let's just get on with it. Guys, we haven't versed this team before. We don't look alike. Should we do a team huddle or something? We need to get hyped. We're so unmotivated. Mm. Well, I guess we should go warm up. Yeah, I guess. Look, I know we're bummed out that Coach Gleason isn't here. But we can't let that bring us down. I remember months ago, we would laugh and joke about how crazy it would be if we made it to the grand final. Or how crazy it would be if we became half decent volleyball players. Guys, we're the worst volleyballs at the tryouts. And we never even want to get in. But now, now god damn it, we're a team. Boys, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Now you're probably feeling nervous, but that's okay. Because win, or lose, it doesn't matter. For a bunch of doofuses, you guys have got a pretty incredible work ethic. Your spirit is inspiring. Now are you ready? Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. 
Let's walk from over there. Why? 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 Trust me. Boys walked into the auditorium as overwhelming underdogs, the humble fellas of the school sporting world. The highly touted Davidson High team were out in full force, accompanied by a rowdy cheer squad. However, the PHS boys quietened them down with a quick first set featuring some outstanding work from Jack Mercer. Davidson rallied in the second set and levelled the score at one all. But with an element of divine inspiration and a touch of class, PHS prevailed in the third set and took down the Super Zone title for 2014. Congratulations, gentlemen. You represented your school with dignity and style. Where's the wound? 